I'm so cold, I'm dripping icicles Her motives is frozen Giving chill pills to them polars Corrosive, the coldest City is a tundra, stay focused Hello, my name is Max, I'm 15 years old, and today I'm going to be teaching you all about the tundra. So, okay, so the tundra is a very unique biome because it is extremely cold, aka the coldest biome in the whole entire world. But it also has an extremely low precipitation, similar to a desert. The tundra is mainly located in northern Alaska, northern Canada, Greenland, northern Russia, and the Scandinavian Peninsula. However, it is also spread out all over the world at high altitudes, usually beginning at 10,000 to 11,000 feet. And these types of tundras are called alpine tundras, which are usually located on the top of mountains. The temperature of a tundra can range anywhere from negative 34 degrees Celsius to mm, 12 degrees Celsius, depending on whether or not it's the winter or the summer. The tundra also has an extremely low biodiversity when it comes to plants due to its extreme lack of nutrients when it comes to the soil. In fact, there are only 1,700 species of plants, which is not a lot. And those are mostly just different kinds of flowers, mosses, shrubs, grasses, and, you know, occasionally a birch tree or a willow tree just here or there. The reason there are just so little trees in general, though, is because the only real time that any plant can grow is during the summer, whenever the permafrost melts just enough so that plants can grow. There's definitely a pretty diverse amount of fauna when it comes to the tundra, however it's definitely a lot less than other biomes. The main animals that live in the tundra are, well, mammals such as caribou, arctic hares, and squirrels, arctic foxes, wolves, and polar bears, which by the way are my favorite. Also there are many different types of birds that live in the tundra such as ravens, falcons, and various species of galls. There are not very many types of insects, however, there are mosquitoes, flies, grasshoppers, and arctic bumblebees. Oh god, those sound like the spawn of Satan. Lastly, there are a few different types of fish, consisting of salmon, cod, and trout. Now, there are a lot more species in the tundra, however, these are basically the main ones that you kind of need to know. So I hope I taught you everything that you need to know about the tundra, but if I didn't, you know, there's always Google. Anyways guys, I'm Max, and this was just a quick little instructional video on the tundra. I hope you guys liked it, I hope you learned something, and yeah, thanks for watching, and goodbye.